Hey HighTechLegion.com, this is Skate and Eric here today to show you the Asus Sabertooth P67 motherboard. Uh, this is their uh, 1155 uh, LGA socket Intel motherboard. Uh, this is a part of their Tough series of motherboards, which has already been done with the P55, the X58, and then now the P67. Uh, the Tough design is a unique design uh, that has high quality components that meet mil spec standards, military specifications that is. Um, and ASUS has their components, uh, ally choke capacitors, MOFSETs, uh, they're independently verified in order to, uh, you know, so you don't have to trust ASUS, they have a separate company that does it. They independently verify the mil spec standard on all their stuff with, and they give you a certificate to make sure uh, that everything is kosher basically. So this is the box here. Nice thing about the box is it does have this flip up panel here that gives you a little more of the features here. Um, inside of the box they have everything layered pretty well. Uh, motherboard is on top and then underneath is all of the the accessories so now let's get to the mother all right looking down on top here you can first see that they use um, this is a thermal armor that is what they're calling it and what it is is a, it's got a shunted design here to where um, this will allow airflow underneath here to cool off all of the components the specific components underneath here as well as drop the, the temperatures in in a certain amount of degrees depending on your uh, your setup um, just how it is normally uh, they say it can drop at like three three to five degrees but they also include underneath here this optional removable panel where you can put a 50 millimeter fan to allow more airflow in and get a little more extreme with your uh, with your cooling and then also variously around the motherboard here they have 12 different sensors uh, temperature sensors so what that means is um, while you're in in the program the ASUS program you can actually monitor the 12 points on the motherboard then then control fan speeds uh, either automatically or manually uh, to basically keep your zones within whatever temperature specs that you would like basically maximizing your cooling overall and then extending the life the lifespan of your of your motherboard of your components of everything inside a very cool feature up here on the corner is uh, what they call their Mem OK, which is basically uh, it's it's their little reset button if uh, you screw something up. What it'll do is it to ensure memory compatibility if you have a bad overclock or something. Uh, what you do is you just pop this button here. It resets uh, basically your BIOS and all your settings uh, to standard memory speeds, so you can boot your system back up without having to basically reset your CMOS or anything like that. Moving down here we have, uh, this is a front panel S, uh, USB 3.0 connector so you will have uh, two on the back and then you have the optional if you have a case that supports it, two on the front. Down here the front panel, front panel headers um, there's also uh, looks like a jumper here for the SATA 3, uh, 5 and 6 to turn on and off. Got your USB expansions, SPDIF expansions, audio expansion, uh, front panel headers I should call them. For expansion slots here we get two PCIe 2.0 16x slots, uh, three PCIe 2.0 1x uh, slot, and then just one regular PCI slot. Now the PCIe 16x slots, it only uh, runs 16x single. If you dual it, it does 8x8. Eight eight. And then these slots also support uh, quad GPU SLI and quad GPU Crossfire X technology. Um, quad meaning the, the dual GPU uh, single solutions they have. You can put two of them in and it will support it. Alright, here's the back panel. Uh, here are all the ports available. Um, we get one PS2 keyboard mouse combo, one uh, external eSATA, the red one right here, 3 gigabyte, and then there's a powered green eSATA, 3 gigabyte right here, uh, Firewire, um, there's a one LAN connection, uh, two USB 3.0 ports, we got eight USB 2.0 ports, one optical, and then we got the, um, the eight channel IO 
on the back here. All right, now some of the special features of the Sabertooth here uh, is their 8 plus 2 digital phase power design uh, and their tough engine, which actually allows you with their Digi Plus VRM utility, uh, you can actually adjust the power loads uh, to maximize your your CPU speed and your rail uh, stability and all of that uh, actually in your operating system. And then uh, the motherboard also has electrostatic discharge guards around it that'll actually help with any kind of ESD activity that might be going on or that might happen. They say it offers up to four times uh, protection with that. And then there's also anti-surge technology uh, which helps against power surges. Here's a quick look at the Sabertooth P67 with the thermal armor removed. This gives you kind of a better overlook of how the board is laid out without the armor on. And as you can see, they got the, it's hard to read, but these are all their tough chokes on there. They got the tough caps, the tough MOF sets all up there. And then they actually have uh, ESD guards right here. You can see the lettering right here. These are ESD guards for your your M, your I/O right here. All right. So the accessories are hidden underneath here in the box. Uh, let's go through this. We have the sticker here. It says "Tough Inside." It's so you can, uh, you know, showcase it on your 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 case there. Um, you get four SATA connectors here. Um, I get, it looks like they put their own interconnect cable in here. You have your uh, your shielded panel, uh, your back panel, back plate. They call it the Q plate, I believe. Um, a couple a couple of screws for that internal fan there to mount it. Uh, if you want to add that extra fan in there, uh, there's also an extended uh, the the pin connectors for your case here so you don't have to jam your fingers and then for we get uh, the five-year manual uh, warranty manual uh, digi vrm user guide and this is their certificate of reliability that comes with uh, this basically means that they had it independently tested and all of the components are up to their specs and they have separate categories here capacitors chokes MOF sets um, a little diagram of the thermal armor and then we have the user guide here with inside here the driver CD and utility CD and that's Asus's uh, Sabertooth P67 motherboard that's designed for reliability dependability and like pretty much ultimate cooling